those who read newspapers and watch television and listen to the radio are given no real sense of the scale of the bloodshed among ordinary Iraqis. If you ask somebody who is quite in the street, who's opposed to the war and doesn't like the idea, but you ask them, how many Iraqis do you think have been killed as a result of Blair's and Bush's invasion? They may say a few thousand, they may not know. In fact, the most reliable survey, which was done by the John Hopkins School of Public Health with Iraqis, an extraordinary survey, meticulous and conscientious and quite courageous in the way it was carried out, peer-reviewed, probably leads us to almost a million people. Les Roberts, who led that study, he said it seems as if the scale of killing in Iraq will have passed the scale of killing in Rwanda. Statistically, the majority of terrorism is our terrorism. It is state terrorism. There's no question about that. And the greatest victims of terrorism are Muslims. Those who either died as a result of the medieval embargo imposed on Iraq during the 1990s, or Palestinians who've died, and others. So the whole understanding of terrorism is upside down. Now there is, as opposed to state terrorism, a kind of privatized terrorism. It's very tiny. It's run by organizations called Al-Qaeda. There was one study at the University of Chicago that found that of this privatized terrorism, in the last 30-odd years, something like 20-odd thousand people had died. A very tiny figure compared to the millions who have died as a result of state terrorism. I don't think there is a war on terror. I think that's a propaganda notion. The attacks of September the 11th were appropriated by a clique in the US establishment in order to further its aims around the world. If that isn't clear to most people, as I believe it is, then I don't know where they've been for the last few years. But it's not reported that way. Yes, a lot of journalists put terrorism and war on terror in inverted commas, but after a while they weary of that. It's as if there really is a war on terror, and there isn't a war on terror. There is a war of terror.